Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to construct a rectangle that is of similar area to another given rectangle but of different sides. So this is what I mean. So if you have a rectangle like this, so I'm giving you a freehand sketch of what we are going to be doing. So we have a rectangle like this. So this is, let's call the side A, B. Okay, okay, now it's, I think it's clear now. A, B, C and D. And you are asked to construct another rectangle that will be of the same area with this uh, rectangle but the sides will be different so that means uh, you are going to be having different sides such that the length AB will be different from the new uh, rectangle that we are going to be drawing so that's what I'm going to be putting you through in this video so uh, before we get into this video if you are yet to subscribe to this channel PA Academy uh, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel so just click on the subscribe button now so we can get into this video all right, thank you very much if you have just subscribed. If you are yet to, please click on it. Uh, it will cost you anything. Just show some love and click on the subscribe button. All right, so what we are going to be using uh, to illustrate uh, what I've just said earlier, I'm going to be drawing a rectangle with a side of uh, 12 centimeter by 8 centimeter. So let me quickly do that. So this is my 12 centimeter. Okay. So now this is a, uh, a rectangle with a side of um, 12 by 8. So now for this rectangle, now the area, so let me call it A, A, B, C, and D. Now the area of this rectangle is given as, uh, that is length times breadth, and that is 12 times, 12 centimeter times 8 centimeter and that will give us 96 centimeter square so how do we go ahead to draw another triangle with different side you know like this one we have it as a b is 12 centimeter let me write it there a b is equals to 12 centimeter and then b c is equals to 8 centimeter remember in the rectangle opposite side are equal so this from a to b is 12 centimeter then from d to c is also 12 centimeter same applies here, B to C is 8 cm, from A to D is also 8 cm. So how do we draw another triangle with different side, but the area will be the same thing as um, 96 cm square. So let's do that. So now, let's take one of the side of the new triangle that I want to draw. I mean, sorry, rectangle rather. So let's just take one of the sides to be 10 cm. So if you have taken uh, one of the sides to be 10 centimeter, so this point here, so let's call this um, E, point E. So let's call this po point the uh, one of the side of the new rectangle that I want to draw. So what we do is from this point E, you are going to join it to point C. So now we've joined it to point C. The next thing you are going to do is this line BC, you are going to extend it up. So, having done that, the next thing you are going to do is to draw a line that is parallel to this line EC. We'll draw a line that is parallel to it from this point A to come and touch this line. So we have it touching this line. So the next thing is uh, to draw a line from this point E, perpendicular line straight up. So that means a line from this point E straight up. So in doing that, since we know that the distance from here to here is 10, so to give me a good result, so let me just measure 10 centimeter on line DC. So you can as well use your protractor here so that you can get a perpendicular line. So 
So I haven't done that. Now I will join this point. So let me call this uh, point F. So this point F, I will draw a line that will come and touch this line that we've just drawn. A straight line. So the line will be parallel to line uh, DC. So let me call this point G. Now we already have the circle rectangle. So the circle rectangle that, that we are having now, it is EB, that is EBFG, EBFG. So now let's confirm if the area of this triangle, I mean, Rectangle, sorry if I mentioned triangle, we are dealing with rectangle, not triangle. So now let's confirm if the uh, area of this rectangle that we've, uh, we've just drawn, EBFG, is, will give us 96 centimeters square. So we already know that EB is EB, the length of EB is 10 centimeters. So let's check that of uh, FB. So in measuring FB, FB will give us um, 9.6. So same as same as GE 9.6. So that'll be 10 cent. So if you calculate the area, the area will be equals to 10 centimeter times 9.6 centimeter. And that will give us 96 centimeter square. So this is how you go about to construct uh, a rectangle that is similar in area to a given uh, rectangle. Now this is very important for you to know how to go ahead to construct it because uh, in doing this question at the initial stage you might just look at okay let me just look for two numbers that if i should multiply it two numbers different from 12 multiplied by 18 that will give me 96 then i can use it to get the rectangle remember this is asking you to construct so you have to really show that these lines this if you once you do something like this to show that you really understand what you are doing and not just trying to look for um, a shortcut to to solve questions like this so if you find value in this video please give it a thumbs up and if you are yet subscribed to pa academy please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel do check out our playlist on technical drawing for more uh, videos on technical drawing on engineering drawing and then you can also visit our website paacademy.co paacademy.co so with that i'll see you all in another video thank you